We got Leviticus Payne here in the team room. How tall are you? Six foot six. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm six one. But uh, he's at your actual one. Five nine. Five nine. What do you wear? One ninety three right now. One ninety three. Now you have a position that you've sort of when you first got here actually you worked in training camp as both a defensive back, a cornerback, and a wide receiver. Yes sir. I think you started at wide receiver as not, not started the season well, started playing that position when you got here. Yes sir. So now you've kind of nestled in that corner at Nickelback spot, how tough is that for a guy your size to be up there? Uh, honestly, I don't really think it's tough because of the mentality that I have. It's like uh, I've always been a two-way player, you know, high school, um, college as well. Uh, it just happened to be they needed me more on defense, so I was, I was just able to fill that role and, and roll with it. So. Last year, uh, Temple, uh, it was a tough game for the Bearcats. I think they've got a very talented quarterback in P.J. Walker. What kinds of things uh, do you have to prepare for when you face a dual threat guy like that? Uh, one thing is uh, make sure everyone will do their, take care of their assignments, do their job, and just be sound against him. Because it's, it's going to come down to just making the plays when they come to you, not trying to force plays and stuff. Because he he's going to be able to make plays, and he's just going to have to be have, have the right guys in the right position, you know, to execute. So that's going to be one of the main things: is execution. You've played against him twice now because he was here uh, when you, I think that was probably your freshman year, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, last week he caught a pass for 25 yards. He completed 75 percent of his throws. He ran for a touchdown. He's a guy that can do a little bit of everything. So you have to get to him. You got to hit him. You got to knock him off stride. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be it's gonna really be getting to him. You know, trying to just mess, mess up the, uh, the time with the receivers. Just getting them. Just give him a little rattle. You know, because it's gonna be it's gonna be real nice playing the nip. You know, once you get in the nip, you know. The defense is going to be real furious, fast and furious. So it's really, it really just getting to them, you know, playing fast, executing. So. How tough was it last week when you prepare for a 7:15 kickoff and it's about an hour and 45 minutes later? Man, that was tough. That, that was probably one of the toughest games that I had to prepare for just because it was a night game. And then it was about an hour and a half delay. So that was probably one of the more mentally tough games I had to prepare for. I think the whole team had to prepare for. Did you or the players see the UC student body during that whole storm? Yes, it was awesome. Man. That, <laughs> that was that was probably one of the most awesome things I've been seeing since I've been here. Like the student section was just live like the whole time, and I, I think that was just unbe unbelievable. I want to give a big shout out to them. And I appreciate them. One of the, I think the best traditions that Cincinnati has created is coming out of that tunnel. All the players go down to that student section. It just erupts, and I'm sure you get goosebumps getting ready to do that each game. Every game, man, it's a blessing, man. Uh, it's, it's really an honor to step on that field game day to run through that tunnel. So uh, anytime I can run through that tunnel, you know, get to the student section, you know, just see them, and they cheer us on. So uh, it's really unbelievable, man. I'm honored and blessed. So. Big game against Temple. It's a league game. So yes, whoever man. wins this is going to have a leg up on the other one. And the other team, if, you, if whoever loses, the winner will have to lose twice in order for you to, you know, overcome them. Uh, I think they've got a little bit easier league schedule than you do because you have to go to Houston. They go to SMU. So um, how, is this game, have you already talked about the importance of this game? Um, from here on out, we're taking every game as a championship game. We're going to try to take them one at a time, you know, most importantly. But this, this, from this game and for the rest of the season, we're going to be on approach it as a championship game. We have that mentality, you know, just you can't accept anything, anything less than a win. So that's how we're going to approach it. Well, six foot tall, Leviticus Payne here. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. No problem.